All right. Um, so I'm back. Uh, this is making a 3D sprite in Game Maker and Blender Part Two. Um, and now we're going to be learning about um, taking how to, learning how to take this sprite or this this model and render out the images that you're going to need for um, a game in Game Maker. So we're going to be rendering out two-dimensional images from this three-dimensional model um, for a top-down plane uh, game, you know, you're flying around the sky. So we're going to, it's going to be a top-down view. Now the first thing you'll notice right now is that we're not in top-down view. Um, so if I go back to my 3D view, um, yeah. uh, you can see we need to be in this kind of view so that, you know, we can have we can have all the angles of a plane that we need, but right now our camera's over here. So the easiest way to get our camera into top view is hit 7 on your numpad or go to top uh, right there. And then you're gonna once you're in top view, you're gonna go to align view, align active camera to view, and voila, your camera camera is magically positioned in a top down view. Um, but we still need to move the camera because it's kind of off center. So let's move it over and move it out a little bit and that should be good. Now we want a square sprite for our um, image because we're going to be rotating the plane so it needs to work when the plane's like this and when the plane's like this and blah blah blah. In fact I actually need to make that the center. it works but um, we don't have a square camera so the way to change that is to go over your render settings and make this a nice square number which is 200 and we also need to make the Y 200 and make sure this is set at 100% and now you can see that our plane nicely fits inside the camera and if we rotate the camera you can see that the plane oh, not quite so let's rotate the camera 90 degrees and move it over a little bit then rotate it back 90 degrees there we go okay so now it's in the center and now we can begin rendering but the first thing we need to do before we start rendering is if we render it now the image now you can see we have a nice top-down view but we still have this ugly gray background and even if I switch to the alpha well hmm, shouldn't do that uh, but anyways so we need to get something like this um, with the alpha transparency. But if we just save this, we're going to get the ugly gray background. The way to fix that is to go over here to shading in the render settings and set the alpha to pre-multiplied. Or actually, you want to set it to straight alpha because um, that's the way Blender, I mean, Game Maker works it works in straight alpha. And if you render it again, voila, we now have a black background and it looks very chunky. Um, but if you go to your alpha tab, you can see that um, it's actually not chunky. That's just how Blender's displaying it. Um, so now we need. Oh, that's out. Okay. Um, so now we need to save this out. So let's go save as image and save it as play. Oh, you can see I already have some saved. So let's save this as plane zero. Come on. Okay, what's well, taking so long? Okay, and now, so we have that saved as plane zero. L now let's, we need to rotate the plane 45 degrees. But if we just rotate the camera 45 degrees, or yeah, 40, 45 degrees. You can see that the light's rotating with it, which is not what we want, because then as the plane goes around on the screen, it'll look, seem like the light source is going around with the plane, and your sun is going around your game world, which is not what you want. So instead of rotating the camera, let's rotate the plane. So if we press R and try to rotate the plane, you'll see that my plane actually rotates with the rest of my body. That's because I've parented um, all the wings and the tails pieces to the main fuselage. And the way you do this is you select the 
wing, then the fuselage. Or actually, no, you select the wing, the wing, the tail, the tail, the fin, and then you select the fuselage and you hit Control P. Set object to parent, and you should be good. And now it rotates. Okay. So now let's rotate this 45. Oh, negative 45. And let's render another picture. There we go. Save it out. Plane 45. Now it's going to take a long time. Okay, there we go. And um, another 45 degrees. Negative 45 degrees. And save this one as plane 90. Okay, so uh, you can keep going with this, you know, keep rendering out your uh, images all the way around the circle. And then in the next part, I'm going to show you how to import those into Game Maker and use them in your game. All right, so here I have a new game that I've created, um, and I've already got a room and an object, object plane and a sprite set up uh, with the object has all the right code for a plane, because I'm assuming you know how to do that. That's not in the scope of this tutorial. Um, so to import our sprite in Game Maker, um, we're going to go open Sprite 0, or create it if it hasn't been created, go to Load Sprite, and then navigate to your folder and select all of your images from the bottom to the top, from, so from the last one to the first one, which would be plane 0. Um, and then um, open them and you should see that um, our images have been imported. Um, so if you want, you can put your, you want to probably, you don't have to put your uh, origin at the center, but I like to. Um, and then so you can see the, the, uh, the trick that, that allows this plane to turn like this when I play the game. So you can see how it, it, it turns and follow, it goes the direction that it's facing, is that I have um, the image index rounded to the direction of the plane. So whenever it's closest, the direction that the plane is going is closest to uh, 45 degrees, or is I mean, is closest to you know 90. That's the image that's going to show. Um, and as long as your plane sprites are in order from 0 to 360 or 0 to 315 um, that this trick will work you just divide by the difference you divide the direction you're going by the difference in in the angle of the images so for example my Im images are 45 degrees apart because that's what we did in blender um, and then you round it um, so that it actually is the closest um, image and not the one that's below because if you do just a floor, which is what image index uh, natively does, it looks really bad. Um, so that's really all there is. Um, I hope you learned a lot, especially about Blender. And if you're a Blender geek, then maybe a little bit about Game Maker. Um, so uh, have a good day, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.